before you leave, there's something you and Dr. Russell need to know, Coach. What's that? Whitney has something to tell you. Don't you, babe? Whitney, is there something you want to tell us? Something you want to tell us, sweetheart? Oh. It's... I've been offered a job at a record company in Los Angeles. <laughs> You're leaving Harmony and moving to California, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I knew it. You come from the streets and you're going back to the streets. Back to the hood where you grew up. You are leaving Harmony and I couldn't be happier. You're staying away from my family. Goodbye and good riddance. You couldn't be more wrong, Coach. I'm not going anywhere near where I came from. I'm not going back. I'm taking a giant leap forward. I've just accepted an amazing offer. A once in a lifetime opportunity. A job that can sew up my future. Yeah, I might have to work hard and prove myself, but this has potential that's off the hook. You know what, son? I think you're a little bit off the hook upstairs. Dizzy, stop it. I got a chance to really make something of myself. And I'm gonna run with it. Be successful. More successful than you, coach. I told you I would. And I'm on my way to doing just that. <laughs> so you think you're going to the top? You know, the only place you're going is back to the streets where you come from. I'm not going back to the streets. I told you. I accepted a terrific offer, and I'm not letting it get away. It's a dream come true. So I'm going to L.A. to start a future, a career. Okay, Chad, say that it does happen. All right, good luck. Congratulations. I mean, all of that, all right? But the only thing that I care about is that you're going to be thousands of miles away from us. You know what? I may even buy you that plane ticket and put you on the plane myself. My ticket's already paid for. Well, whatever, okay? The only thing I'm concerned about is that you're gonna be away from Whitney. And then our family will be back to the loving, close-knit family that we were before you came along. So, goodbye and move on to L.A. Oh, I'm going to L.A., all right, Coach Russell. Far away from you. But I'm taking Whitney with me. What the hell did you say? I said, I'm taking Whitney to California with me. The hell you are. My daughter's not going anywhere with you. TC, remember, you promised me no violence. Eve, our daughter is not going anywhere with that punk. I forbid it. Yes, but is this the way we want to handle it, honey? Or do we want to discuss this with Whitney in a, a calm, civilized manner? We need to find out what it is she wants for herself, be because we can't order her to do anything. Eve, we're her parents. Honey, Whitney's of age now. She, she doesn't need our consent. If she wants to go to L.A. with Chad, there is nothing that we can do legally to stop her. She can do whatever she wants. The question is, what do you want, honey? So what is it you want, sweetie? And do you want to go to Los Angeles with Chad? Daddy, I love Chad. And I want to be with him. But I also love my family, too. And I would hate to think of not being with you guys all the time. I just don't know what to do. Whitney, stay here with your family. It's where you belong. I mean, Chad is pushing you into this. You don't want to move to California. The last no. thing I'd ever do is push Whitney into anything. Stay out of this. We're talking to our well, I'm talking okay. to you. No, no you're stop not. Stop it, please. Stop. stop it. You stop it immediately. Can't you see what this is doing to Whitney? Yeah, Chad is putting her through hell. Both of you are, and I want it to stop right now. We have to come up with a logical solution, an alternative. Oh, Whitney, I, I appreciate how difficult this is for you, sweetheart. It's, it's a tough decision. But I don't see why there's any reason that you have to rush it. Uh, my suggestion is that you just, like, time take care of this. Time. Well, you, you let Chad go to L.A., he 
you stay here in Harmony, and, and you finish your semester at school, and, and then maybe stay through the summer. Huh? The summer? Be quiet. Six months. You wait six months, and then you, you see if your feelings for Chad are as strong as they are now. You see if you, if you want to go to California. And Chad can be getting himself on his feet. And then when you've thought it through thoroughly, mm -hmm. and you know what you really want, then, then you make a decision. And if you decide that you want to go to L.A. and be with Chad, you'll have the blessing of your father and I. No, he, no way. That's not going to happen. No way. Too soon. <clears throat> We have to compromise. You ordering Whitney away from Chad is just pushing her right out our door. Listen to me, Whitney. If you don't come with me now, you never will. <laughs> That's not true. Now, your family's gonna use time and distance to separate us for good. No, baby, I love you. I wanna be with you, you know that. Then tell him you're gonna go to LA with me. Sweetheart, I'm so sorry that I lost it earlier. It's just that this is very difficult for me. I know, Daddy. But I love Chad. Oh, we know, sweetheart. <sighs> we just want you to do the right thing. You know, I'm moving so far away. It's a very big decision. And we just don't think you should rush it. I think you should take your time. Your mother's right, honey. You need time. Only you can make this decision, Whitney. I'm sorry, Chad. I can't go. I'm just gonna stay here, okay? But it's just for six months, okay? But I can't go with you. I'm sorry.